What's up everyone, Danny Line and back with another Warbots video. On this video, we will be giving out five Ardent Amoogies and going over all the balance changes coming up and new stuff that's coming up on the new update. If you want to try and win one of these Amoogies, stick around, we'll go over this in a minute. So watch the entire video and follow the instructions on how to enter. But first, let's talk about the new stuff coming up in the update. There's a brand new robot coming out called Lynx. This thing will be on the new update and basically it's going to be a squishy robot. They say it's not going to have a lot of hit points, but it's going to have a very strong ability. Once a robot gets down to 30% and it shoots you, you're pretty much just going to instantly die. So yeah. A new set of weapons is coming out that has a 100 meter range. And the thing is, you got to aim really good. It's very hard to hit people with these. So you have to have precise aim, but they're going to do gigantic damage. But you got to be 100 meters or closer just to hit somebody with them. So they're going to be hard to use, but they are going to be tank destroyers. It looks like there's going to be a new Fafnir pilot called Noah coming out. What he does, I'm not 100% sure yet. And a pilot called Sadie or Sadie for the new robot Lynx. The new Keystroll drone is coming out, and that's going to apply a death mark to people within 350 meters. So if they get within 350 meters of your drone... It will death mark them, so pretty much everybody's going to be able to do, deal more damage to that robot that gets death marked by the crazy new Keystool drone. Also, there's a new mothership coming out called Roulette, and it's basically going to airstrike people, and when it hits them, it's going to apply a corrosion effect and a rust effect on an area on the ground. If the players stay inside of that area, it is going to mess them up quick. There's also going to be a new Mothership turn out to give you more speed and more defense, which is pretty cool, and a whole bunch of new Stellar items are coming out as well. So basically a whole bunch of robots and weapons that look kind of like this right here. These things are very cool looking, very nice design on the Stellar objects, but hey, let's move on to the rebalance changes, or the balance changes, or whatever the heck you want to call it. So this is what we know as far as nerfs go. So Angler is going to be getting a nerf. I think they're going to add two or more seconds to the Angler's cooldown, which it really needs. They're also going to reduce the amount of speed it has in the ability, so it's not going to be able to run up on you and catch up to you really quick like it does now, which is good. That thing's way too overpowered. I wish they would just delete that turd taco robot from the game, honestly. Next will be the Seraph. It's not going to have as much flight time in the air, so they are nerfing the Seraph a little bit, which it probably needs. I think they're going to take two to three seconds off of the flight time. Unfortunately, they are going to nerf the Kepri again, but the good news is they're going to give him a much stronger healing, but take away some hit points. So he's getting a buff and a nerf at the same time. So Kepri may turn more into a healing support instead of a tank, but we'll have to wait and see when it goes live how it performs or what it does and i'm not really sure why but they're nerfing the spear right now if you do not have the autopilot that makes the spear shoot faster the spear is pretty lousy i don't really know why they would nerf it but basically every every shot does a little more damage on the spear so they're going to reduce the amount of extra damage it does on like the third shot or the second shot or whatever but i don't understand why they're nerfing the spear again it's not really that strong of a weapon right now and the claw weapon is getting a nerf. They say it's probably going to do 10 to 20% less damage. I guess the claws are a little bit too strong right now in their eyes, so they're reducing the amount of damage. For all of you Heimdall lovers out there, you guys are now going to be able to get the uh, Heimdall with Platinum. You'll be able to go into the store and just buy this guy if you want to. It's a cool Titan, not, not one of the best or anything, but it's very fun to play. I don't think it's amazing, but it's fun. War Robots is also going to be doing the 9.0 update celebration. I think they're going to have another one of those live shows, a bunch of live streams, big giveaways coming up and stuff like that. So stay tuned and watch all that stuff. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and uh, tell you how to get yourself one of these Amoogies. First off, do not fall for the scammers. If somebody replies to one of your comments and tells you you want a PS5 and it looks like my profile, but it's not actually me, that's a scammer impersonating me. I do not ask you to contact me on WhatsApp or Telegram or Instagram. Don't fall for the scammers. So the first thing we need you to do is hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And you might want to hit the little bell and set the notifications to all. That way you don't miss any future giveaways or when I announce the winners or good build videos or anything like that. Remember, all winners are picked 100% randomly. That way everybody has an equal chance. I use a random comment picker. So the giveaway is fair to everybody. Only one entry per person. If you're caught entering multiple times, especially from different YouTube accounts or something like that, hey, 
you're going to get your submission thrown out, and you're probably going to get on the blacklist so you'll never be able to win another giveaway again. This small giveaway is probably only going to go for a couple of days, and when the winners are announced, I will post a screenshot of the winners on the community tab of my YouTube channel, and if you're subscribed, it'll probably notify you. Alright, so to get entered, all you got to do is leave that comment. We need to have your player ID, which is a six-digit in-game player ID. Make sure you copy and paste that. Don't type it in yourself, because if you type it in and you type it in wrong, unfortunately, your prize will never show up. Also, put your platform in there. Are you on Android? Are you on Steam? Are you on Amazon? Are you on iOS? Let us know which one of those things you play on, along with your player ID and the special code. I'm going to give you in just a minute. All three things have to be in the comment. The random comment picker does look for this special code, and if it's not in there, then hey, you are not going to be entered to win properly. So like, subscribe, leave a comment with those three things in it, and here is the special code right now. Hashtag WR W I N A R I M U G I. Hashtag W R W I N A R I M U G I. And that's all you got to do to get yourself entered in the awesome five item giveaway. I wish I had more to give out, but you know what? Five people are going to get something really nice. Now, I always get a lot of comments, people who are really upset that they didn't win, but guys, when you got five items to give away and hundreds of people trying to get it, you can't expect to win every single giveaway. You got to be really lucky. Somebody's going to win, but you know what? If you don't enter, you have no chance. If you do enter, at least you have a chance. Somebody is going to get something really cool. So, so get your entries in there and a few people are going to be crazy lucky. But you cannot expect to win just because you entered because there's a few items and a lot of people entering, but somebody is going to get something really cool. Good luck on the giveaway, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. We will catch you next time. See ya.